Hello there guys and welcome welcome back to the channel so this time around we are going to be checking out a rank 4 Elsa Bloodstone gameplay courtesy to Aeon now before we get any further I must say that if you do want to submit your own gameplay or you do have some interesting showcases or something you want to share with everybody best way to get in touch with me is via Evzone in the video description link below only thing you have to do is just tap on that link tap on try it for free enter whatever username you want here as company name your email and account will be created for you and you will be put in touch with me on top of all of that there is still about 24 hours left no a bit more 48 hours left to enter 250 dollar giveaway that is going to be distributed with uh 25 10 dollar gift cards intended for summoner sigil even if you already have a summoner sigil you can still take part and just use the ten dollar gift card to renew it for the next month so you get a free month of summoner sigil and uh it's super easy to enter you just need to recreate an mcoc in mcoc game mcu fight so basically you need to recreate a fight that has happened in marvel cinematic universe inside marvel coins of champions game open your Evzone account and submit the screenshot to the email below I will leave the details and the link to this full giveaway video in the video description as well. All that being said, let's just jump right into the gameplay. And this is going to be a bit lengthier video because he has split it in three parts. The good, the bad, the ugly. So he's also going to showcase, you know, the shortcomings of Elsa. And currently, as we can see, she's only C53. And with higher sig ability, there would be more damage coming from Elsa unfortunately it is what it is uh he has made commentary for the video as well so i want to make sure you guys can see it and uh, that is actually a true fact elsa has one of the highest uh crit rates in the game especially uh considering the fact that she also has access to promise effects that means she can crit a lot and uh but these crit damage buffs are laughably small <laughs> yeah that's uh th that is also true tiger is the only synergy that elsa apparently really needs Fair enough, and yeah, I knew that Tiger Synergy is very, very good for Elsa. Right, so here he's going to showcase a Winter Soldier fight. Keep in mind that this is only a Sig um, 53 Elsa, and obviously her Sig ability gives her bonuses against XL and Science Champions, neither of whom are Winter Soldier. So this is kind of one of the worst case scenarios, or a relatively bad case scenario for Elsa, because she's not fighting the final boss when she gets an extra bonus she's not fighting a science champion she's not fighting an excel champion so this is definitely not kind of like you know the top peak bonus look at that degen oh that degen is <laughs> that degen is quite sweet uh but unfortunately the bleed was fairly short however elsa is always one of those danger traps whenever you do run liquid courage double edge <laughs> i have died in alliance war to elsa <laughs> with that ages ago now it's kind of like a known trick and people always make sure to check you know some other champion that that person has placed to see whether the liquid courage double edge is or is not involved so he went for a level three there and again this is definitely not necessarily the best case scenario for elsa he goes for a nice level two there <laughs> uh gets clapped a bit but uh we can see that yeah uh winter soldier is still quite hefty uh and healthy at this point in the fight but the further the fight goes the better it kind of works for elsa because every time she reloads i believe she gains increased power rate and uh that is obviously quite important it, it was increased power rate or it was some other benefit every time she reloads her bullets and here at this point we can see that the final bit of this fight is definitely quicker than the initial one was so uh here we are take that winter soldier and block and it was definitely not the quickest fight for elsa again this is one of those instances where i do personally however feel that winter soldier is not necessarily a great showcase it's kind of like when blade came out and blade took like hundreds of hits to take down winter soldier and uh you know initially it went around as like blade's damage is absolute garbage which you know by today's standards his damage isn't the best but that obviously wasn't the selling point of the champion either so as we can see 128 hits is quite long quite a lot best matchups big science champions yeah those are the sweetheart matchups of elsa by far the best ones 
If there's an XL Science Champion, then you get a lot of extra damage. Jabari Synergy will counter the nodes. I actually forgot what Jabari Synergy does. Should ought I? Should I look it up? What did Jabari Synergy do? I know Elsa has quite a lot of quite useful synergies. One of the best aspects about the champion. But here we are. Uh, so we have Elsa going up, up against Immortal Hulk. And here we already can see that there is quite a lot of red numbers sneaking into this fight uh, as she's basically applying and well using any of her bullets and uh, that is certainly helpful oh that synergy evidently lets elsa plays disorient which is quite neat which is definitely a bonus so now he can knock uh, down the mortal hulk safely uh, i recall this fight you need to have disorient on the opponent or you need to have disorient, concussion, or something. There are like three debuffs. Uh, but here we are. And uh, yeah, definitely this uh, Immortal Hulk is getting dropped down quite quickly here. Uh, and comparatively speaking, much, much quicker than that Winter Soldier was dropped down, even though the health pools are relatively comparable here in between this Immortal Hulk and that Winter Soldier. So we can see see that the basically the damage dealing speed, even at SIG 53, is basically double going up against a good champion. So much for damage is read that uh, he can't go immortal. Also quite useful. Best matchups, debuffs are fuel. Okay, fair enough. So he's going to be going up against Hyperion here. Again, I haven't seen all of these showcases, but this is the good clip. This is the longer clip as well. And then we have some the bad and the ugly scenarios for Elsa, which I'm also, you know, uh, very happy that did get sent through because everybody always wants to showcase, you know, the best case scenarios for the champions. But there are often things that, you know, are very glaring weaknesses and problems and things that, you know, people not necessarily think about always. And here against... Uh, Hyperion. I, I don't think that Hyperion is necessarily the best matchup, but I think the node fuels Elsa up quite nicely with those debuffs, and every time she purifies those debuffs, she uh, gains a precision, I believe, or has a chance to gain a precision. And that is certainly quite helpful. Right, so still going up against the Hyperion here. Not bad. Hyperion at this point uh, has six prowesses. I'm not entirely sure how this node work, I don't remember it from top of my head, but uh, it certainly isn't looking too bad there for Elsa. And uh, she consistently does purify those debuffs. It is not an instant purify or like a super, super quick. It does typically take a bit of time, which at times can be trickier to fight against because you don't know exactly when that purify is going to kick in. And it's kind of hard, harder to time it, I would say. And now here he's going for the kill, unfortunately. Ah, uh, barely there. <laughs> kind of a bit lucky, a bit cheeky ending there for Elsa. Best matchups, decent away counter. Okay, decent away counter. Yeah, that's also worth pointing out that uh, obviously Elsa counters the away by her cold snap debuff. In order to apply cold snap, opponents have to wait at least once. So that already can be somewhat frustrating, frustrating at times. And then there is cold snap immunity. And then there are champions, obviously, who can shrug off that cold snap. Uh, which I'm sure uh, he's going to showcase later on in, as well. So here he triggered that Mesmerize once uh, on purpose. But thanks to Quake Synergy, she actually swapped out, so, well, snapped out quite quickly, so she didn't really get punished by it much. Uh, and here, now that Starlord has already awaited, instead of Incinerates, she starts applying Cold Snap, and uh, as long as at least one Cold Snap is active, opponent cannot await, and then the only thing you kind of have to keep an eye out is that you do, in fact, have a cold snap on the opponent at all times. Otherwise, obviously, I, I have made that mistake myself. It's easy to kind of fight under the impression that you, oh, I will have a cold snap, you know, all the time, but you don't. With Tiger Synergy, maybe you do, but without Tiger Synergy, you really don't have that cold snap active at all times initially. Later on, you can make it happen so. But uh, at the very beginning of the fight, uh, typically those debuffs don't quite cover 100% uptime without Tiger Synergy. At least to me, maybe there's some better, uh, better Elsa players out there. 
So here we are. Let's see the next bonus. Or he's just going to carry on to the next fight against Spidey, which is fair enough. So we can just fast forward a tiny bit. And Nick Fury Synergy here heals a bit. We got the first away in. Sweet. So Quake Synergy there again kind of helps to avoid the repercussions of that opponent away in this case. And now since also Spidey is a science champion, she does get one of her benefits uh, in damage department from the SIG ability, which obviously lets her melt Spidey quite well. And uh, this fight obviously was already much, much, much quicker because Spidey's health pool is smaller and also he's a science champion. So one half of Elsa's SIG is active. Oh no, in what? What's oh no there? I forgot an event quest and it's almost over. Okay. Can't be on my phone at work. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Uh, Elsa is one of the best uh, out of her champions in the game. Uh, she is quite literally the best, I think, out of her champion in general uh, when you run her, thanks to the Nick Fury Quake synergy, because whenever she counters, she applies a hit and a busted charge. And uh, yeah, she, she is very, very, very good for auto fight. She truly is. We can see here that auto play is gonna... Well, this is actually, again, quite impressive there. 35k pig. And uh, Elsa is wrecking. I mean, Elsa is wrecking there like nobody's business. The intercept. <laughs> So, yeah, she, she, that, that is definitely true. Elsa is one of the best champions for auto fighting anything, really, because of that evade and uh, the degen that she can do if you run Liquid Courage Double as well. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Uh, this is going to be up against Thing. So, Jabari pointed with the synergy is stacked while reloading both guns. What, what was that synergy again? Eh, come on. While it is loading, inflicted disorient, you were reducing defense ability accuracy and block. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Now I know what this synergy does. So let's see how Elsa should do a lot better in this fight. If she was higher sig. If she was higher sig, obviously. Uh, but, you know, uh, still. Very interesting showcase, in my opinion, and definitely loads of work went to it. So, uh, absolutely love that uh, incentive that has been made here with editing and everything else. So, here he's going to start unloading. He's inflicting his incinerates. Obviously, Thing is also, again, pretty much uh, the perfect matchup for Elsa, because he's science, because uh, uh, he's extra large. So the SIG ability kicks in fully in this fight pretty much. And uh, now that thing has evaded, obviously, cold snap debuffs can shut off the evade as well fully. And let's see how far he gets. I think this is going to be like a full fight recording. So let's see how much damage he is going to do. Because I don't think she can solo. Definitely not at this SIG. Definitely not at this thing, but that is also what he pointed out that, you know, she's not necessarily the best uh, Abyss option. But I do want to see this second bit. And it's super useful that Cold Snaps are there, preventing that away still. And now he has some cruelties active. He has a precision as well. You do need to keep in mind, obviously, how to balance your bullets at all times, which is quite important in my opinion. And then, unfortunately, he... Hmm. Yeah, what happened to those cruelties? Quite interesting. That's quite interesting. So how much damage is he going to end up dealing to that thing? Still quite a bit of time left. Last 35 hits or so. So he's taken down a third of the things. Helpful. 
and he still has 27 hits left, max. Not if he keeps hitting that block, though. Right, last bit there, so he's taken off 41% so far. 41%. And this, this is it. This is the finish. 44%. Fair enough. But now we're going to take a look at the bad and then at the ugly. Now I know what you're thinking. Human Torch will get smolders from Elsa. Well, actually, he's only going to get small dust from Elsa if you can use the medium combo finishers. You can use the light ones safely, I believe. But he's not supposed to. Interesting. But yeah, I have used Elsa against him in touch and pass, but I just don't use medium hits at all. I just finish with lights and don't and ignore the other bullets. And you still get the burst damage because he's a science champion. All right, but let's check out the why. Okay. Human Touch is only supposed to get smolder when incinerated. True. Right. But because Human Touch is incinerate immune, I also should be applying call to him. That is also true. But he's call up immune, but he should not be getting... Ah, that is true, though. That is very true. That's another one of the kabamisms in this game. Because, yeah. Because he's incinerate immune, Elsa should be trying to apply cold snap, but he's also cold snap immune, but that shouldn't matter because he, he shouldn't get smolder from cold snap trying to be applied. And yeah, against wasp, this thing I knew, this thing has messed me around a few times. This thing definitely has messed me around a few times because wasp can shrug off that cold snap. And uh, that can definitely be annoying. So against wasp, you, you can't rely on Elsa being in a way counter against wasp. That that's definitely uncool. Dizzy mesmerized and vulnerability. Okay. The biggest issue she has no way to switch her debuff at will. That is true. That is absolutely true. It's the, the fact that you have to force your opponent to wait. You have to force your opponent to wait, and only then you can apply your cold snaps. And on nodes like Mesmerize, obviously, that can be extremely punishing, as we can see here. And, you know, this is... <laughs> yeah, and it is definitely quite unsafe if you're not using Fury plus Quake. And now, from this point forward, obviously, everything's fine, because you get Cold Snap. This is one of the things why I don't like using Elsa as no aid counter. Okay, now we're going to have the ugly cliff. We're going to have the ugly. Synergy lets Elsa pause her buffs. Yes, that is a very cool synergy. I like using Mr. Fantastic synergy for few champions. Cosmic Ghost Rider is an awesome champion to use it with, by the way. Because you can extend duration of your power gain. So a little tip there. My favorite uh, potion farming team is Cosmic Ghost Rider, um, Nick Fury, Goldpool, Mr. Fantastic, and Night Rusher. And then you can just run through entire thing with Liquid Courage Double Edge. And it's super fast, super efficient. My favorite team when I have Liquid Courage Double Edge on. But okay, let's take a look at another, the ugly bit. So, Mr. Fantastic Synergy should be pausing Elsa's buffs. Mom's logic is. Pause plus. Yeah, uh, that is a problem. Pause plus more paused equals not paused. Uh, yeah, because Elsa should have those buffs paused by herself. And that happens with several champions. Omega Sentinel is very similar, where if you pause Omega Sentinel's debuffs with a heavy attack and then with a special attack, then, you know, that kind of removes the initial pause and they get unpaused. And a lot of champions do have that issue. What comment did he make for this fight? One second. Uh, da -da 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 -da, I don't want to miss this one. What did he say about the null? Okay, he didn't say anything. Still. Let's get to it. What's up with Null matchup? All those do are purified and 
poison is still there. All right. I'm not in touch. Maybe the price going. Right. So let's try again. Okay. So what are you showing here? Was she meant to purify the poison? I think she purifies only non-damaging divas, though. Is there an ability that I'm missing on Elsa? I don't think she can purify damaging debuffs on her. When is a debuff not a debuff? Interesting. Okay, when is a debuff not a debuff? Well, I guess in this fight we'll find out. I do know these tricks, though, because uh, this same thing happens in Labyrinth as well. If there are some brand new debuffs that, uh, if there are some debuffs that are introduced after a champion is released, often abilities don't work. It's kind of similar when you use science champion against Maestro in Labyrinth of Legends, and Maestro should be able to purify all the debuffs, for instance, against Void, but he can't purify two out of three debuffs against Void, and that is because those debuffs never existed when Maestro in Labyrinth was introduced in the game, so he doesn't recognize or know what to do. I actually am quite aware of this one, and it just shows that Kabam doesn't like go back and, you know, update the abilities. And that is the case with quite a lot of nodes and champion abilities, where if a brand new debuff is introduced in the game, then uh, debuff purification abilities don't recognize it as a debuff that they should be able to purify, and they just leave it up there. Um, you can... Yeah, try it yourself with any newer science champion. For instance, try and use Spider-Man 2099 against uh, Maestro in Labyrinth, and you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about, where he should be able to purify all the debuffs, and he will purify stuff like Parry Stun, for instance, but he will not purify probably the Wither or Exhaustions and stuff like that, because those debuffs didn't exist when Maestro came out. Or whenever Rapture debuffs, he's definitely not going to purify, because those definitely didn't exist when Maestro came out. Anyways, that has been an else showcase. And again, if you do want to submit your own champion showcases, check out the link in the video description. Check out the giveaway as well. Definitely do not miss out on that. There's still two days to enter the giveaway. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will catch you guys later. See ya. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about the